What's up, party people? My name is Vegan Chris. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And today, we're going to be using my refrigerator as a dry erase board because I found out it works pretty well. So, let's get right into it. Okay, there's a lot of confusion out there about whether or not humans are herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores. So, let's get right into it right now. Okay, you have three categories that animals can be classified in based on their diet. Based on what they need to eat, not based on what they can eat, okay? And by the way, if you have any doubt about whether or not humans are animals, let me just reassure you that we are. We consume organic matter. We respond rapidly to stimuli. You cut us, we bleed. We are animals, a part of the animal kingdom, just like any other animal. We ha may have bigger brains and a, you know, a highly sophisticated a, um, you know, language and opposable thumbs and stuff like that. But we're animals nonetheless, okay? So, what kind of animals are we? Because it's very important for, the, for an animal to eat the diet that it's designed for, okay? So, you have herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores, okay? So, where do we fall in? Well, we can look at a few different things, okay? But let's just take... For example, vitamin C. Okay, vitamin C. All animals need vitamin C to live. If herbivores don't get vitamin C, we develop something called scurvy that can kill us. Okay, herbivores all have to eat vitamin C in their diet. They have to get it from fruits, vegetables, plants. That's the only place that vitamin C is found in the diet is in plants, you know, fruits and vegetables. So, herbivores cannot make their own vitamin C. Carnivores can make their own vitamin C, and so can omnivores. So, so far, humans are herbivores, because we cannot make our own vitamin C. We have to get it from our diet. Okay? Second thing, let's talk about claws and fangs. In order to tear into animal flesh, in order to bite into animal flesh, you need claws and fangs. We herbivores, all herbivores in the wild have hands or, or hooves. Carnivores have claws and fangs. Okay, obviously we have hands. So we could never tear into animal flesh. We could never bite into animal flesh unless it's prepared for us. Then we can do those things. But we can't do it naturally. So... Do herbivores have claws and fangs? No. Carnivores? Yes. Omnivores? Yes. Okay, bears, raccoons, they have claws and fangs so they can still eat animal flesh, and they, but they can eat also in a uh, herbivorous diet. Okay? Moving right along. Let's talk about body cooling. Okay, we can put here panting. Because, as you know, Especially if you have a dog. Carnivores and omnivores cool their body by panting, okay, through their mouth. They cool, cool their body through their mouth. So, herbivores. Herbivores cool their body through the skin, through sweating, okay? Which one do humans do? We sweat, right? Yes, you breathe hard. I know you breathe hard when you work up a sweat, but you cool your body by sweating through your skin. Okay, so do we pant? No. Carnivores? Yes. Omnivores? Yes. Okay? Moving right along. Let's talk about drinking water. Okay? Her herbivores have lips. Okay, herbivores sip water. Carnivores and omnivores lap water with their tongue. Okay, so we can put here lapping. Herbivores do not lap. Carnivores lap, omnivores lap. Okay, let's talk about the number one killer to humans. The number one risk to humans today is atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is the buildup of plaque in your arteries when you eat saturated fat, when you eat cholesterol, when you eat animal fat. 
Carnivores and omnivores never develop atherosclerosis. They can eat as much animals as they want and it never develops in their arteries. Herbivores develop atherosclerosis very quickly and it shrinks the size of their arteries and it kills them. Now, humans, do we develop atherosclerosis? Yes. Yes, we do. Because it is the number one killer. The number one killer in this country and in the world is atherosclerosis. So, car carnivores do not develop atherosclerosis and herbivores do. You see where all the evidence is pointing? It is starting to become clear. All the evidence shows that we are herbivores. We are herbivores. We are not lions. We are not tigers. And I mean, maybe that's what it is. Maybe humans want to be as strong as lions and tigers, and so they see those animals eating those things, and we say, well, let's eat those things so we can be strong like them. But no, we are not designed to eat that stuff, and trying to be as strong as a lion or a tiger is what's killing us. We need to be as strong as a human, as a natural human. And this term vegan really you shouldn't even be. When you eat a vegan diet, you're, you are eating your natural diet. You are eating a human diet. That's what it should be called. I'm eating like a human. I'm eating safely. That's what it should be called. So, as we can see here, we're, hu we're herbivores, we're not carnivores, and we are not omnivores. A lot of people think we're omnivores. But the day I see you eat raw meat, and don't tell me about sushi or steak tartare either, because that stuff is prepared for you as well. It's not raw straight off of the body of the animal. It's definitely prepared, okay? So, my name is Vegan Chris, guys. I hope this helps because I've had this conversation with a lot of people, and so I said, you know what, we need to make a video about this to put this to rest once and for all, okay? I hope you liked it. If you don't agree, if you do agree, or whatever you think, leave a comment in the section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will definitely keep them coming. Thanks again.